Okay, Celebrity Big Brother has been happening, as you know, and Amanda Devlin is assistant showbiz editor. Felicity Cross, known to her friends as Flick, but uh, I'm not quite there yet. But uh, <laughs> Of course you are. Uh, thank you, Flick. Uh, deputy <laughs> TV editor with The Sun. Welcome to you both. You've got this amazing podcast that is flying out the door like hot bread and everyone's happy to, to, to hear your take on it all. Celebrity Big Brother this year, what what's happening? I mean, how have you enjoyed it so far? And what because it's coming to an end soon, isn't it? Yeah. So the finals on Friday. Um, I think that everyone was a little bit nervous about Celebrity Big Brother coming back because ITV have now taken it over, of course. Yeah. So ten years after it was on Channel Five, um, so the pressure was on. Mm. But they had this amazing lineup, which immediately put everyone feeling like it was in safe hands. So not only Sharon Osbourne, yeah. the original reality TV yeah. queen, but Louis Walsh. Then there was some glamour in there from Strictly come dancing Nikita Kuzmin um, there was Ekin Sue from yeah. Love Island yeah. so all of the right ingredients for a really good series so that, that that's critical I mean, Amanda when you saw the, the, the list of ingredients on this menu who's na- what names jumped out for you that you went oh yeah they, this is going to be juicy I mean Sharon Osbourne and Louis Walsh that yeah. is just incredible that's enough is it if you just put the two of them in the house it would, but, do you know really... what at one point that's what I wanted <laughs> I thought, well, let's just leave them together and hear yeah. all their amazing stories and yeah because that's what they're giving us all the good gossip that we could then talk about on our podcast it's a new Sun podcast called Celebrity Big Brother Breakdown Yes, and we just give all, all the way all the sort of exclusive juicy details about you know what's going on in the show so we found out about surprise evictions and you know we, we'll talk to some of the stars when they come out yeah. it's been so much fun who, who who struck you as being particularly engaging or interesting or fun to speak to on the podcast um so kim woodburn she's a cbb legend um she it was by far one of our most popular episodes because she did not hold back yeah. in the slightest um dream the dream exactly yeah, yeah. she really went in on everyone um <laughs> mainly louis walsh um yeah. she just she just doesn't hold back she doesn't care and she's she's 82 yeah. um and she just doesn't care anymore and she just wants to tell it tell it exactly as it is which this is, is a great brilliant. thing about being 82 i mean i know all about it when you're 82 you just decide <laughs> i don't care i don't care because i don't you know well for obvious reasons but i just don't care uh Tell me about Louis Walsh. I mean, yeah, well. There are two things. I want to hear two things from you, if you don't mind, Flick. One is, what did you think of him going in? What do you think of him now? So these reality TV programmes, they always promise that they're going to be coming into the house and sharing all the showbiz gossip. So we hoped for that from Louis, and mm. he has delivered. <laughs> um, that man genuinely doesn't think he's on microphone yeah. because we know this already from people who have left the house. Louis does keep saying, is this being recorded? Okay. And then realise that <laughs> oh, he sure. shared something possibly quite problematic about Simon Cowell, yeah. about um, Donald Trump, about mm. Mariah Carey. About Jedward. About Jedward. What did he mm-hmm. say about Jedward? Because we have to remember a lot of people who are listening in mightn't have seen. So remind us of what he said about Jedward and what, what sort of scrap he caused yeah. inside and outside the house. So we like to call him Louis the Lip because those <laughs> loose lips. Um, he, he obviously mentored them on X Factor That's when right. they first sort of rose to fame. Yeah. And um, he branded them vile. And he, he sort of said how awful they were to work oh, with. Oh, they're nice lads. Well, they quickly had their say on Twitter. <laughs> Brilliantly, yeah. at that moment, they happened to be having a roast dinner yes. with Gemma Collins. Who else? Who else? And then they were in the hot tub. I think they'd all had a Brilliant. few little drinks. <laughs> yeah, a few scoops. And they were on Twitter saying this about Louis, that about Louis. And yeah. that's the that's the brilliant thing about something like Celebrity Big Brother. Everybody has an opinion. Yeah. Everybody has their say. And when you've got someone like Louis fueling the fire like he is, mm. just non-stop. I think I, think I even saw Ronan Keating putting the boot in then as well. I mean, yes. uh, outside the house. So everyone was going to go and having a, having a, having a go. Yeah. And, and it, also, the, this, I was going to say the loose lips. It's not only just Louis, it's actually Fern Britton as well. She's gone in from being kind of a bit of a nation's sweetheart to then ending up um, really going in on her other housemates. And the tide has turned. She was being booed last night. She was There was a chance for her to get Fern out. Um, it's really yeah, okay. Really so that's changed. that's the, that, that's the people talking, if you like, in in the mob mentality. The fans, but, but you guys, yeah. as journalists, can I ask you? You saw someone like Fern Britton. As you describe her as being a nation's sweetheart type mm. figure. 
do you think she let herself down a little bit in the house or do you think that she's been entertaining or do you think you I know? think that's what the, the, the point of Big Brother is is that you can go in there and be loved and it can bring out the best and worst can, is that yeah, it yeah one thing you can say and it can change things I think you're seeing that she's a bit of a game player that she's okay. not being her authentic self oh, okay. but there are reasons behind that and that's what we delve into in our podcast yeah. about talking about the reasons behind why she's crying and it's maybe happy tears or she's kind of thinking that she had a marriage split so there's been yeah. so many different things that are going on so you, and, you, 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 in your podcast you put all this in context so suddenly yeah. it's not just what you see on the show you guys can trash it out and say but well, you know that, that this happened before and that happened there yeah. and, and we get their friends that. and family on who yeah. who know them or they're you know, yeah. cele- famous celebrity friends yeah. who know all about them so they kind of can give you a bit of an insight and yeah. yeah. um, we had Kerry Katona on today's podcast it's just coming out later today at 5pm yeah. and she uh, she had that infamous interview with Fern Britton and Philip Schofield yes. where she was accused of being an alcoholic and actually she's on bipolar med- medication yeah. so she really goes in on fern yeah. so it's a juicy one to listen to today. gosh okay uh, i i kind of find myself going well i mean it's terrible i can't wait to hear <laughs> uh, uh, you know that sort of the, over the newspaper i mean that's awful what are you watching yeah. um, but is it you, you mentioned a word that i think is really important for people in the in the, in the big brother house is is authenticity mm-hmm. and the the public are really smart and the public really know it, can't they? They can smell a fake like five million miles away. Like oh, a hundred percent. And and we've already seen just during this series, Ekin Sue. So she rose to fame on Love Island. So already people skeptical about game playing. Yeah. She knows how to be on these reality TV programs. Yes. And she went from sort of um, hero to zero in the CBB house because people said she was fake. Oh. And actually, huge story that's um, broken just now is there's been um, over a hundred so far off common complaints about the treatment of her in the house and, and a bullying route that's sort Is that of right? up. You, I, I, I interviewed her met uh, Ekin Sue I thought she was lovely actually I have to say in, in real life yeah. um, mm. and you know, even though I wouldn't have been you know you know, a prime viewer of the programme yeah. for whatever reason but I thought she was a lovely person taken on face value would you say the same? Yeah w- whenever I've met her but um, I mean were a question for you yeah. were you getting an authentic Ekin or were you getting Ekin speaking well, to I, my, another my, famous Often times my colleagues would say because I was the host of the show I got the fresh paint treatment mm. of everyone and it always I always knew who the real person was by how they treated the people around me so oh, you know what I mean so I'd watch the yeah. way they talk to researchers producers yeah, receptionists yeah. and if they were nice to them I felt that's mm-hmm. that's really the essence of the person and if they're they rude to them equally the same thing they only have to perform for a few minutes in an interview but this is 24-7 they're being filmed and that's mm. why you do see the mask slip you see the cracks begin to show oh the cracks mm. and that's just the face did you uh, <laughs> last, <laughs> last question would either of you ever if you were asked go into a Big Brother house celebrity Big Brother house or any uh, any house would you ever expose yourself? I, would, I love the idea of the social experiment. It fascinates me. I'd would love you to be see, part of this? Would I'd, you guinea pig your life away? For if it wasn't, if it didn't go out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hang on, that's just called house. That's, just that's your house. house. That, that's your <laughs> You just live in that. It Unless never goes. Be, I don't want to get cancelled. I don't want to get cancelled. Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. Well, we all live in one of those houses. If we... <laughs> um, I don't think that my mum needs to know what I'm really like. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to your mother to see the the authentic Felicity Cross. Yeah, she doesn't need to know. Amanda Devlin and Felicity Cross, great to see you. And uh, thanks for coming in. And you're always welcome here, by the way. The chairs have uh, kept warm. Can you tell them what you described yourselves as when you walked in? Because you look so glamorous. Yes. Yeah, so people who can't see the video right now, I'm in all black yes. uh, so I said I'm Oppenheimer and Amanda's here as Barbie in pastel blue so, so we've got, we got two movies here uh, God knows what I am but we'll get to that another day uh, thank you both and the next uh, podcast drops tonight 5pm it's on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts and loads of um, shenanigans and gossip yeah, celebrity in there. big brother breakdown thank you both very much <laughs> good luck so thank much. you